हेलो गाइज हवा यू सो इन दिस लेसन वी शेल स्टडी अबाउट मैंडे लेसन एंड द लॉज ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस दैट ही प्रोवाइडेड दिस कोर्स इज प्रजेंटेड बाई मी नवनीत शर्मा यू कैन नो मोर अबाउट मी फ्रॉम यूर एंड आई वुड लव टू टेल यू दैट आई हैव रिसेंटली क्लियर यू आर ए टी पी जी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन विद ऑल इंडिया रैंक थर्टीन यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन दिस लिंक एंड इफ यू लाइक द लेसन कैंडली रेट रिव्यू एंड रिकमेंड द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस वॉज डिस्कवर्ड इवन बिफोर द डिस्कवरी ऑफ हेरिटेटरी मटेरियल दैट इज डी एन ए द वे ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू द अनदर जनरेशन वॉज डेमोस्ट्रेटेड बाय ग्रेगर जॉन मैंडल फर्स्टली इन एटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स ही सेट दैट एवरी सेल ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म कंटेन्स टू फैक्टर्स फॉर ईच करेक्टर दीज फैक्टर्स सेपरेट ड्यूरिंग गेमिटोजेनेसिस नाउ दीज मैंडल फैक्टर्स आर कॉल्ड एज द जीन्स As the mechanism of inheritance was first discovered by Mendel, he con he is considered as the father of genetics. He worked on Pisum sativum plant for about eight years, from eighteen fifty six to eighteen sixty four. Okay, Mendel published his findings in the magazine Proceedings of the Natural History of Society of Brune in eighteen sixty six, but but his findings were unnoticed until his death in nineteen hundred. Uh, the Mendel's laws were rediscovered independently by Debye, Scorens, and Schemark. Uh, hence, these three scientists are considered as the rediscoverers of Mendelism of uh, Mendelism or principles of uh, inheritance. Mendel selected Pisum plant for his experiments because uh, they were suitable for easy cross pollination. Uh, they are uh, they are uh, naturally self pollinated plants. It is an annual plant and it has many contrasting forms or characters. Okay. he uh, mendel chose the, the uh, seven characters to study the principles of inheritance and variations first one was uh, seed shape uh, dominant form is round and recessive form is wrinkled then seed color yellow dominant green uh, recessive flower color violet dominant white recessive pod shape full dominant uh, constricted shape uh, recessive pod color green color dominant and yellow color recessive Uh, flower position axial position dominant and terminal position recessive stem height tall height is uh, dominant and dwarf height height is recessive okay so these were the seven characters that mendel uh, chosen he studied them another principles of inheritance or uh, mendel's laws are three they are called the principle of dominance principle of segregation and principle of independent assortment these were deduced by mono hybrid and di hybrid crosses principle of dominance and segregation were deduced from mono hybrid cross mono hybrid crosses their uh, definition is as follows a cross made to study the inheritance of uh, one character or two contrasting forms or two different alleles is known as a mono hybrid cross example is crossing of a pure tall that is capital t capital t and uh, pure dwarf for small t small t to observe the inheritance of height characters or two contrasting forms that is tall and dwarf of, of the pure forms okay these are these were the pure forms or uh, two different alleles that is capital t and small t such crossing is called as mono hybridization and uh, the resultant f1 progeny is called as the mono hybrids okay so this is an uh, diagrammatic representation of the cross uh, they, these were the um, pure parents that is pure tall plant and pure dwarf plant uh, and f1 progeny were all tall and when the f1 were uh, self crossed they produced uh, uh, three tall and one dwarf plant okay so mendel crossed pure tall plant with the pure dwarf plant to do this he transferred pollen grains of tall plant uh, from the male parent to the stigma of dwarf plant that is the female parent or emasculated parent it is called as the normal cross in another cross mendel transferred the pollen grains of a dwarf plant that is male parent to the stigma of tall plant that is female parent or emasculated parent it is called as the reciprocal cross in the above crosses mendel got all f1 mono hybrid tall plants why f1 progeny is tall this result uh, this resulted him to propose the principle of dominance uh so this uh, diagrammatic representation explains uh, the mono hybrid cross uh, the parental tall and dwarf plant were taken as the pure hybrids uh, when, when they were crossed uh, all the f1 uh, progeny were tall hai na uh, then they were uh, self crossed 
then we in the after generation we obtained three tall plant and one dwarf plant as it was explained earlier also okay uh, one more thing in uh, after generation the phenotypic ratio was three is to one that is three tall plants and one dwarf plant and the genotypic ratio was one is to two is to one okay uh, you will study it later okay now the law of dominance definition mendel proposed this principle by observing f1 progeny uh, the law of dominance states that when a pair of contrasting forms that is tall and dwarf was crossed were crossed the contrasting form that expressed expressed that is tall in f1 generation is called as the dominant contrasting form okay the contrasting form that did not express in f1 generation is called as the recessive contrasting form that is the dwarf one in the uh, in the above experiment the tall is dominant over drop uh, so uh, then the question arises that what happens to the recessive allele that is the dwarf one in the f1 generation uh, to find out the answer Mendel continued the experiment now the self-pollinating of f1 individuals so Mendel allowed uh, self-pollination of f1 individuals in f2 he got both the tall and dwarf plant in the ratio of 3 to 1 so the recessive contrasting form is expressed in f2 generation okay this appearance of a recessive progeny resulted in the proposal of law of segregation uh, now observation of f3 generation uh, mandel allowed self-pollination in f2 individuals to observe the f3 generation f2 dwarf plants produces produced all dwarf plants now it indicates that the dwarf plant is a true breeding plant okay that is uh, uh, both are the recessive forms small t and small t uh, then one uh, one third of the f2 tall plants produced only tall plants it indicates that one third among the f2 tall plants is a true uh, true breeding tall plant that is capital t and capital t and the two third of f2 tall plants behaved like f1 uh, progeny by producing tall and dwarf in the ratio of threes to one so they were basically the heterozygous forms that is capital t and small t which were similar to the f1 generation parent okay so this diagram explains this a lot okay so we have the true breeding plants that is capital t and uh, capital t capital t and small t and small t they, and these plants when crossed they gave uh, the f1 progeny that is capital t and small t capital t small t capital t small t capital t small t now as capital t is the dominant and small t is recessive only capital t shows us uh, shows its character in the f1 generation so all the uh, plants were tall when uh, these tall plants of f1 generation of heterozygous condition were crossed uh, we, we, we get the capital t capital t one and one uh, small t small t and two capital t small t capital t small t okay so we got two uh, true breeding uh, varieties that is uh, true breeding tall plant and true breeding dwarf plant and uh, two were uh, heterozygous conditioned uh, uh, tall plants so uh, like that like those of f1 generation that is capital t small t okay so the uh, but three of them were tall as uh, only capital t showed it uh, shows its uh, uh, character in the uh, dominant form so the phenotypic ratio was uh, 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio became 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay phenotypic ratio is the ratio uh, which shows only uh, the characters uh, in the outside form and gen genotypic ratio shows the, the genetic nature okay now the law of segregation it was explained by Mendel by observing recessive progeny of F2 generation the law of segregation states that two alleles of a heterozygous or monohybrid or F1 uh, are separated during gamete formation. Hence, gametes are always pure. The law of segregation also called as the law of purity of gametes. Uh, the gamete receives either dominant or recessive allele but never both. In F1 hybrid tall, the alleles of tall and dwarf separated and enter into two different gametes. Okay. So I, in the next lesson, we'll be talking about the dihybrid crosses and the third law of inheritance. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the lesson. Uh, keep learning.